Now, uh, we're just going to create a real basic um, scene so we can test out our builder project. Now, straight away we've got uh, iPhone artwork, which is not going to work with our iPad Xcode project. So I'm going to flip back here and I'm going to drop in uh, some artwork that I already have from, uh, from my game. So the uh, first thing I'm going to do is um, pick out some uh, user interface uh, artwork that I've got. Uh, some of this stuff I've actually I've already mentioned in a previous tutorial on my website. Go check my website. You'll see a link to this. And uh, there's these really excellent uh, Tango project desktop icons, which I've composited into a sprite sheet. I've used Texture Packer. Uh, Texture Packer is a great program for managing all your resources, compiling them down uh, to sprite sheets. Um, I mentioned Texture Packer again on my website. Um, go look there for the links to it. And um, the result of using Texture Packer is you're going to get uh, a plist file and a corresponding uh, sprite sheet. In this case, I've used the PVR compressed format. Uh, you can just use a plain PNG if you want. It's the same thing. Once you install Texture Packer, uh, it actually gives you the ability to preview these in Finder, which is quite nice. So that's how come I can see what that file actually looks like. Uh, so again, Cocos Builder, we don't have any file management. So what I'm going to do is just drag and drop uh, these elements over here. Uh, I'll use Option drag so that I get a copy and I'm going to drop them into my resources directory. I'll drop them in and now I'm going to go back and pick out um, one of my scenes uh, and we'll grab, um, let's see, and copy this over to my scenes folder. Let's go back to Cocos Builder. Uh, I'm going to make file new file and I'm going to say that it's going to be an iSca iPad landscape. Uh, it's going to be full screen. Basically your choices here are a CC layer based thing or a CC node based thing. Um, I'm not going to cover these other ones right now. But uh, a layer is something that's going to fill the whole screen, whereas a node is going to be some small kind of resource that you're probably going to composite down into something else. Because this is going to be my background, it's going to be a CC layer. And when it is, uh, what I get is the option to have all of the scaling stuff. Uh, so let's just say that it's iPad landscape and go create cost. Shoot Builder Resources. Yay! Drop it in there. Okay, so you can see that what Cocos Builder has done for us is it's created the basic iPad template, which is pretty nice. And now I can go and drop my artwork in there. And to center it, I've clicked on the percent button, which is going to make it relative. Uh, whatever percentage I put in here and I'm going to make it a 50-50 because it's a PNG the anchor point is in the middle and we want our position to be in the middle so we've got our nice centered artwork. Um, now this is not scaled at all the artwork I pre-rendered this to be exactly the same format as the um, uh, destination device which is my uh, standard definition iPad um, I could go into a whole tutorial where I have all of this stuff uh, done but uh, with multiple artwork, but um, that's kind of out of scope for this right now. So we've got our bedroom file there and we've got our startroom.ccb. Um, now there's a couple of last little things that I need to do. Uh, the document here refers to my ccb file and I want to uncheck JavaScript control because I am not using JavaScript for this one. Uh, this is going to be a 
COCOS 2D iPhone project written in Objective-C. I'm going to get rid of these two redundant uh, files which were generated automatically for me by COCOS Builder. Let's just move those into the trash. So what happens now is I've, I've got my um, publish settings done, so I'm going to publish into my resources directory. So now I should be able to go File, Publish, and you saw that little progress bar. Uh, what I should find now is that over here in my iPhone project, in my resources folder, I should have some new stuff that has been put in there by uh, Cocos Builder. So it's added uh, a compiled uh, start room. So you notice over in Builder I had CCB files. Now I've got a .ccbi file that contains my actual CCB project. So uh, I also have the um, uh, sprite sheet and the uh, lookup table for that. I also have my artwork and uh, the resources and so on. So I'm just going to go click add, add those things in there. I've got my CCBI project. You actually have to uh, dig out this CCB reader code and uh, move it into your project kind of the same as the um, the other COCOS stuff is. So where it actually is lurking uh, is inside of the, um, the example. So COCOS Builder uh, ships with an example file and uh, that is where you want to go to get your CCB reader stuff. So let's just go to our finder and I've got my Cocos Builder directory set up here with examples, libs, and here's my CCB reader. So this is the folder that you want. And uh, what I'm going to do is navigate over here into my COCOS tut directory, which contains my Xcode source. Now I've got my libs here, and uh, I'm just going to option copy all of that CCB reader stuff, drop it right in there. So I uh, additionally have to add them into my uh, libs here. So add files. Uh, create groups for any folders and copy the items if needed. Well, they're already in there, so it won't be needed, but let's just leave that checked. We've got our CCB reader. I uh, should be able to just click Add here with any luck. And inside of App Delegate, we go up top. Import CCB Reader, and I'm going to pass in the name of my nice little um, resource that I added over here, which was called Start Room. Okay, so now we've got our um, start scene up and running. Uh, I haven't disabled the frame counter, so that's going to be appearing in the bottom there. And uh, we've got our first uh, bit of artwork loaded up uh, by virtue of our CCB file.